Sierra Oscar from Sierra One. Yeah, show us TOA 1405. Sierra One received. Situation report, please. Yeah, we're outside number 23 now. Yeah, stand by. One IC1 male coming through the front door now. No sign of any She's weapon. Dead. Repeat, no sign of a gun. She's dead! Okay, just stay there. In there! Is there anyone else in the house? She's dead! Is there anyone else here? Look at his shot, her! Who did? Is he still here? No, gone. You sure? Okay. Mike. It's in the kitchen. Mike. In there. It's Mr. Fed a minute. Inside. What's her name? Mary. Mary who? He shot her. And what happened? Ben. You know, Ben? Tony? Yeah. I wouldn't. Pity. Just had her ear done. Too late for that now, sir. Oh, I'd better let them take a look all the same and I'll call the FME, yeah? Carry on, June. Give her hand, please, Gary. Um, Tony and Mike? Tony's with the body, Mike the boyfriend. Don't know what happened except she was shot. Right. Uh, Steve, can you relieve Tony? I want no one near the body without a legitimate reason. Sir. Sir, this is John Fenham. It's his girlfriend, Mary Reed. I'm sorry. Suspect's her son. Ben? Yeah, joyriding's one thing, but... I take it he's gone? Yeah. And the gun? I don't know, sir. Has the ARV been informed of Ben's description? I put it out on the main set. Right, I'll run over the story again, then uh, can you take him out to Sun Hill? Yes, sir. It's um, final conclusion, we haven't much further. Go after. There's been a fatal shooting on the Nans Down Road. Mary Reed's son has stopped her. Ben? Yeah, I think you better have a look. Larry Reed, is that Trevor Reed's wife? Yeah, he's only man for what? 60 stitches? 85. So where's the boy? Ben. He's still on the loose. With the gun. You know Trevor Reed? And his brother Dennis. Before I came here, we had them down for an armed blank that went wrong. Security guard got killed. Vergate Lane. That's the one. Nothing came of it. What's the boy like? That's a hothead who thinks his father's some kind of local hero, stealing for the rich, giving to the poor. Johnny Fenham. Who? New muscle on the block. Rumour has it he started Sorry, seeing Mary Reed just to get attention. Well, get that all right. Poor oh, thing. I declare life extinct at 1445. Seen some bad exit wounds in my time. Well, the bullet will be around here somewhere. Socko will belong. Rather him than me. Mary and Trevor haven't been together for years. Trevor always did what he liked. But if Mary even so much as he'd start carrying on like he still owned her. And you started seeing Mary? On and off. When did you move in? About a month ago. Was there any trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle. Ben? Mostly. Foul-mouthed little jerk. This afternoon? He was there when I got home. In the kitchen. Started screaming at us. Calling Mary a bitch, whore. He had a gun. Pistol, revolver thing. Told Mary if she wasn't out of the house in five minutes, he'd kill us both. Then? Well, I tried to stop him, didn't I? Yeah? But he wouldn't listen. Just kept shouting. 
Mary was begging for him to put the gun down. The next minute she... She... Oh, thanks, Dave. Andrew. <laughs> Any word on the boy? A reported sighting at his uncle's. The ARV's oh, checked Dennis, it out. Sir. Get him stopped, Dick. Dennis! Where is he? Andrew, this is Dennis Reed, the boy's uncle. There's armed police crawling all over our family. Now get him stopped now. The kid's freaked enough as it is. Do you know what he's done? It was nothing. An accident. Mary's dead. So? We'd better get him inside. If they shoot Ben. Where is he? No. No, let me bring him in. Let me do it, okay? When? When it's safe. He's wandering around with a gun and you want him safe? He's just a kid. Oh, come on! It was an accident. Some accident, Dennis. He never meant to the gun. What? Call him off, please. Not while he's still armed. He's not. So where's the gun? How soon can you get him to Sunhill? Less than half an hour. We'll get the RV to back off, but I want you to hand Ben over to me now. I'll get to stay with him. Yes. Where were you when the shot was fired? I can't remember. Were you close to Mary? No, I was, um, to the side. And who had he been pointing the gun at? Both of us, in turn. He's 15, isn't he, Ben? Yeah, something like that. Is he close to his mum? <laughs> no way. She couldn't wait to see the back of him. He was staying with his uncle, or for the most part, or his auntie, what she called Jean. And did you see him very often? Not a lot. We needed to keep out of the way, didn't we? Till today. Well, he had a gun. Obviously thought we'd even things up. Why do you think you were so bothered when you got together with Mary? You picked your moment carefully. What's that supposed to mean? Well, Trevor's on remand. You think I'm worried whether he's locked up or not? Where would a 15-year-old lad get a gun? Reed's aren't choir boys. Is he your gun? No way! You're not landing me with this! Well, why would he shoot his mother and not you? Well, what's it matter? He put a gun in her face and shot her! She's dead! Ain't that enough? Okay, okay. Where are we going? Jean's place. My sister. Her and Jim are looking after him. He's always lived with one of us. Not with his mum? No. Mary? Well, she never made much effort. He come to you this afternoon? I'm not saying. Why are you so certain the shooting was an accident? Down here. Well? Look, I know he's been in trouble and stuff, but he's not all bad. If you're stalling so that... No. It's Dennis. They've got to take him in. But I go with them. you have to bring them? No other way. Where is he? Upstairs. Go on then. What's going on? Take it easy, man. What's going on? suspicion of murder. You, you do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so, you but promise. what you say may be given in evidence. Can I help you? We're in for Ben Reed. Now, all we want to know, Ben, is exactly what happened. Ben. <sighs> Bitch had it coming. As soon as my dad's inside, she's on her back with someone else. It's true. And there's nothing your dad could do about it? No, a message from my dad. What about Fenham? He did. Yeah. Your mother moved in, started living with him. Yeah, but dad doesn't know that. So instead you thought you'd break them up? Was today the first time? Fenham's a bully. Did he have a go at you? I bet he didn't like having that gun stuck in his face. No, he was wetting himself. So what then? You told him to get out? Yeah. To leave your mother alone? I bet your mother was scared too. No? She was shouting. Cursing and saying things. 
lies about Dad, saying things that weren't true. Uncle Dan, it just weren't true. It's all right, Ben. It's all right. Is that when it happened? Is that when the gun went off? Is that when the gun went off? Right, that's enough. He was trying to leave, trying to get out of the door. The gun... He bumped into something as he was backing out. The gun went off. It's the gun. The mechanism's faulty. It's got a hair trigger. And where's the gun now? Where is it? Well? Sir? Uh, Nick, I want you to give Steve Loxon a hand. The kitchen's got to be cleaned up, okay? Yes, sir. Without the gun, nobody's going to believe it was an accident. We need to have it checked. So where is it? Now, somebody must know. He's 15. He's facing a murder charge. His own mother. Nobody. Right, will you have it your own way? Dennis and Trevor were suspects in the robbery. And the security guard had a hole blown in him the size of a dinner plate. Like Mary Reed. So let's get a match on the bullets. It's no wonder the family's gone mute. It's got to be the same gun. And it was Dennis who said he had a hair trigger. So the evidence that could get Ben off for murder... Yeah. ...is going to put Dad and Uncle in the frame for the Burgate Lane killing. You're telling me. Right, I'll set up a search for the gun. Gov, if there was any chance of us finding it, the Reeds wouldn't be sitting downstairs. Yeah, I know, but... And not one of the families sided with the boy? Run through Ben's version of events, Chris. See if it stands up. Now, suppose the gun did have a hair trigger. See if he could have nudged his elbow or something as he was backing out the kitchen door. Oh, and let Socko know that the bullet's going to be very important. Right, go. Meanwhile, Trevor Reed's still on remand. Of course. He won't know yet, will he? Everywhere, isn't it? How's it going? Well done, anyway. Has Socko gone? Yeah, about ten minutes ago. Damn it. You found a bullet? Yeah. What was left of it? There wasn't much to start with, anyway. Was it a wad cutter? Yeah. Good. Same sort. Yep. A similar bullet was recovered from the Burgate Lane robbery. A wad cutter? The top's cut off, level with the casing. There's nothing to hold the bullet together when it hits something. And then, uh... No, we need is for forensics to match the two bullets to the same gun. Uh, you might be out of luck there. This one hit a saucepan, flattened out completely. Soccer I reckon forensics would be hard pushed to tell much from it. What, nothing? Didn't seem helpful. Would you sell life, Gov, instead of your son? I hope I would. Where was the body? Body was lying down there, head down. Oh, okay, Jimmy, come and stand down here. Just down there. That's it. Um, the felon was off to one side. Right, Nick. That's it. Right. Oh, ben was trying to cover him. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, you be Ben. The felon was terrified. Now, ben expected his mother to be as well, but instead she blew her top and started to tell Ben a few untruths about his dad. Ben started to back off. Right, OK, let's try it. A few home truths. Mm. Well, sir, I don't no, OK, that. we'll try it again. Does he know? No. Thanks. And how is he generally? Oh, screw his pet. Oh, yeah? Well, almost. I think he's worried about going down for a long spell this time. Certainly due one. Plus, he turned 40 last week. Could be two or three years before he gets his party back. Here we are.
Chatter. I still don't see how... One more time. Jim, go further back this time and then come forward when you start speaking. Now remember, Steve, Ben is trying to cover the two of them at the same time. Now the further apart they are, the more difficult it's going to be. So Nick, you come down here. That's it. That's fine. Right. Okay. Right. Mary tells Ben to put the gun down. Come forward. But his father's a mean, selfish, lazy bully. She moves forward. Well, it still doesn't work. Right. Once more. Faster this time. Faster. Go on, Jim. Come Pretty far with this. Right. Go. Right, Mary tells Ben that it's none of his business who she lives with, that he should clear off. Get out! Go on! Get out! Well, I'll take it easy. Bang. He went for a showdown with Mary and Fenham this afternoon. Ben says the gun went off by mistake. Something to do with a hair trigger. There's only a handgun. But even so, the bullet managed to blow the back of her head off. And where would Ben manage to find a gun that could do that? Three wood lice and an earwig, sir. Someone's had a damn good clean out. Tell me about Burger Lane. Don't know anything about it. Two mass men, about the same size as you and Dennis. Botch a security van raid. One of the guards gets hit, single shot, lot of mess. Really? Now you know about guns. You've been caught with them enough times. What do you do to a bullet to make it do that much damage? No idea. You drill a hole, cut the head off? Would Ben know? Ask him. What about the trigger mechanism? Could he alter that? I don't know. He's a bit of a hothead, Ben. Not really. You know him well, do you? You name one of his school teachers. Girlfriend. His favourite pop group. When was he born? You don't even remember how old he is. That's all right. Because he hasn't got a clue about you. He thinks you're some sort of a hard man. I wonder what he'd say if he could see you now sucking up to these screws. Drop it. Fenham reckons that Ben fired the gun deliberately. Ben says it was an accident. We'll know for sure when we've examined the gun. Whatever you say. But we won't just test the trigger mechanism. See, as you well know, every bullet from the same gun has the same mark. Just like fingerprints. And I'll bet that the bullet that was fired today will match the bullet that was recovered from the Burger Lane robbery. So? Ben knows that, doesn't he? That's why he's willing to face a murder charge rather than tell us where the gun is. But even if he refuses, you can. You know enough about that gun to save his neck. No way. Well, that's what he's prepared to do for you. His choice. It beats me what you've ever done for him to deserve that kind of loyalty. No. Well, he was involved in Burger Lane, no question. But when push comes to shove... No big surprise. How did you get on? We're out of luck with a bullet. It flattened itself against a saucepan, so there's no chance of a match. But Ben's story, with a couple of big ifs, like the hair trigger, and banging his arm against the door jam, that's possible, just. But he's stuck without the gun. So are we. <laughs> Sir? What do you think? Probably. And where is it now, though? I reckon he's chucked it. Panicked and chucked it. Yeah, but keep looking. You OK, Dennis? Fine. Good. I've just got back from Manor Park. I've been having a chat with your dad, Ben. How long is it since you've seen him? I mean, I know he's been on remand for a month, but uh, before then? He's good at keeping in touch, is he? Birthdays, Christmas, big present under the tree. He's a hard man. No one gets the better of Trevor Reid. For your sake, I wish that was the truth. 
The fact is, he doesn't give a stuff for you. Oh, your mother. No. He's too busy shining the governor's shoes. No. He's a screw's pet. That's not like that. He's filling his shoes in case we find this gun. Liar! John Peterson. He was a security guard who was shot. Now, was that the last time you saw your dad? When he showed you the gun that he'd been hiding in the water barrel at your aunt's house? No! Did you get rid of the gun? Or did you give it to somebody else to get rid of? For God's sake, Dennis, help him! I don't know where it is. This way, Matthew. Where? The cells. Come on, I'm not going in there. No, come on. Dennis! Come on, don't be silly. Dennis! Dennis! He's on. Dennis! Come on, in you go. No. What's going on? No. We don't Dennis. need this. Get in, go on, son. Dennis! Dennis. Yeah. Is this what you want? Yes. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough! Dennis, I'm dead! Dennis! They're gone. Dennis. It's the one we used at Burgate Lane. Did the gun belong to Trevor? Yeah. If he wasn't messing about with the ammo, it was something else. Trigger, whatever. That day... The robbery? Yeah. Trevor swore to me the gun wasn't even loaded. Stupid, stupid. Afterwards, I told him to get rid of it. So what does he do? Hides it in our sister's garden and brags about it to Ben. And why's the gun now? Ben threw it away. Where? I don't know exactly. He said something about the canal. I'll get him to show you. Yeah. Okay. 